but I kept taking the risk. I kept jumping. You know, some people... <laughs> Hey, can we sit with you? So, when I was a kid, my family used to go to Darien Lake for a week each summer. Many times we'd travel with another family whose kids were just a bit older than I was at the time. So, well this one summer, I was probably, I don't know, maybe around eight, and the family we were traveling with, they decided that they were going to try that like that giant swing, right? I think it's called Sky Coaster. You know, you know the bungee type swing that pulls you like hundreds of feet in the air and then it lets you just like plummet to the ground at kind of a very alarming rate? That one. So I remember standing off to the side and I watched them get like suited up and strapped in and I watched them get pulled to the very top and then they dropped as they dove to the ground at a very frightening pace. I wanted to be a part of it, okay? Spoiler, I was clearly too young. So I was told I was going to have to wait until I was older to do it. Here's the thing. As a kid, I wasn't the best at the patiently waiting part. So the next week, we got home from camping and I decided I was going to find a way to bungee jump. So I went searching through my parents' garage and I came across these. Yep, bungee cords. So I walked out to my parents' front lawn. I chose the perfect tree. I climbed up that tree. I shimmied my way out to the middle of the branch and I hooked that bungee cord around my belt loop. I said a quick prayer and I jumped. Bam! I landed flat on my face. So there I was. Some of the neighborhood kids had come from a few doors down to watch. And, and you know, maybe I could have been embarrassed. The bungee jumping aspect didn't really work out quite the way I had thought it would. But do you think I let that stop me? Heck no! I stood up, I climbed back up that tree because I was determined to get this to work. I have to tell you, it never did work. But I don't know how many times I actually jumped out of the tree that day or the weeks to follow. I, I even uh, tried again the following summer. I tried so many times that most of my belt loops from that stage of my life were broken. But I kept taking the risk. I kept jumping. You know, some people, <laughs> some people might have seen it as a failure. I mean, I'm sure my parents didn't appreciate all of my ripped shorts. Sorry, mom and dad. But I'm here to tell you, none of it was a failure. Sure, I never was able to get this bungee jumping experience to work, and when I think about it as an adult, I'm not sure what I would have done if it had worked. I mean, just for a moment, picture it with me. If I had gotten it to work, I would have been stuck suspended above the ground just dangling from a tree. Like, then what? Clearly, I hadn't thought it out enough. But my point is this. There are times we need to take risks, okay? I love it. You get I over love there, this Bert? story so much. <laughs> oh my gosh. So. We want to ask you, what areas of your life do you need to take a risk in? What area of your life have you been maybe playing it safe for fear of failure? Here's the thing, you'll lose all of the battles that you don't fight. So many people don't even swing the bat because they don't want to miss. But this is how you gain confidence. This is, this is how you grow. You have to jump, you have mm. to risk, you have to climb a tree. You can't Literally. focus on the potential face plant. In life, you have to be willing to take risks because if you dream for more, you have to actually do things to, to get to that dream, to accomplish what nobody else is accomplishing. You have to do what no one else is doing and that takes risks. So yes, we're gonna take tumbles, we're gonna mm. fall out of trees, we're gonna take a face plant here and there, but every now and then, there will be a win. And, and I will note, although this process of bungee jumping never did work for me, when I was a young adult, I did successfully ride the Sky Coaster, not once, but twice. Mm. So good. So we ask again, 
What areas of your life do you feel you need to take a risk in? We want to encourage you that sometimes what feels like a loss now may actually be a win later. Maybe you need to take a leap of faith in your job to get that promotion, or in your relationship to move to a deeper level, or in your fitness to see the changes that you've been dreaming about seeing for, for so long, to feel how you've always wanted to feel. Now, it's not all bungee cords and broken belt loops. It taught me how to take risks, how to believe in a dream, and how to fly, obviously figuratively speaking. So before we bid you adieu, we want to ask you <laughs> to adieu. We want to ask you to subscribe to our channel, to join this community, and to comment here or DM us on Instagram to connect further. Maybe share a story in the comments of something crazy you did. Maybe it's not <laughs> belt loops and bungee cords, but whatever it is. And let us remind you, you belong here. And now we have to try and figure out how to get out of this tree because <laughs> there's ants everywhere. Good times. <laughs>